Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome back to another third stimulus check unemployment benefits extension update. So we have really, really great or simply put just even more great news to share in today's update because we've been sharing a lot of really great news lately, which is the really, really great thing because especially after most of the previous last month and we were really starting to see a lot of states end unemployment and there weren't really as many great news. But the great news to finally, I guess, continue on to the ball roll with it um, is that we have now officially received word that there is now a seventh state that has now officially joined in the battle and the lawsuits of trying to bring back unemployment. Um, this seventh state is now a huge congrats to the state of Tennessee that has now officially joined in the battle with the lawsuits. And the story right now, I believe, is, is that with this state joining in, we now officially have seven lawsuits. No, actually, seven states, but with multiple lawsuits. Because keep in mind is that several of these states actually have even more than one lawsuit. But of all of those lawsuits, they're now happening in seven states. And I believe those states now happen to be, it started with Indiana, then I believe it went to Maryland, then it went to Texas, then Oklahoma, Ohio, recently Florida, and then very, very more most recently now, Tennessee. And I believe from there, there are now also officially two states that have won the court order. They haven't won the case. All of these seven cases, or rather cases within these seven states are still very open, much open. But the idea is, is that there are now two of these states that have officially received a court order to bring back their unemployment until the case is finally settled. Of course, we already talked all about what's been going on in those two states and about the lawsuit situation in that other past video, which I'll put very, very much at the end screen. I believe it's literally just called Officially Back, which talks about what those two states that officially won their court order did. But in today's update, I really just want to talk about where we currently stand with all of the lawsuits situation, the fact we now have a new lawsuit that's now officially joined in. We have actually also received word that Maryland now has actually officially opened another lawsuit, but about something else now that's not related to the fact that unemployment is ending. It relates to unemployment. It's going to make a little bit more sense, but it basically just has to do with trying to deal with certain I guess you can say delays or things that are happening in their state, but we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit so it's gonna make a lot more sense. Um, maybe real fast before we begin this is that there are also two states I do know that have also actually now announced word that they will be keeping their unemployment. The story is is, is that there were two states. Um, one happened to be Michigan, one happens to be in Kansas. Those two states, they did not lose their unemployment, but there was a lot of talks and a lot of fear and a lot of debate that in those two states that there were thoughts that they might be on the edge of potentially losing their unemployment. The really, really great news is, is that there will no longer be any lawsuits in those two states. States. And why that's a great news is, is because those two states will no longer be even losing their unemployment to begin with, so there will no longer even be a need to have any kind of lawsuit. I believe what ended up happening is, is that I believe that in Michigan, um, the Republicans originally tried to draft up a bill of some kind to end unemployment there, but then I believe is that we had figures that apparently ended up stepping in, they vetoed the bill, and now thankfully if you happen to be in Michigan, it's now confirmed that at this time, um, it's safe. I think that's the most important thing. And uh, Kansas had a very, very similar story where I believe a couple of the lead officials apparently jumped in and said the same exact story we're not ending unemployment. We have to keep it. Um, and so the great news is, is that those two states can now feel hopefully secure that there will no longer be a lawsuit because they will no longer even be ending unemployment. So there will no longer be a reason to deal with that. So this is a really great news, but we're going to talk all about all of the different situations about where we currently stand and what we know so far. So as always real fast, before we begin, as always, maybe consider smashing the like button in light of a lot of the great news that's happening. Consider subscribing for a similar videos like this and more updates or just other kinds of general finance topics. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about honesty, anything or any particular information you might have to particularly share about honesty, just really anything at all. And with that being said, let's get this video started right on the spot.
So the story to maybe start off is, is that right now at this time is, is that the court case in Indiana and Maryland is still very, very much happening. So I think that's the really important thing to notice. The great news is that they've already won their court order. So it's now officially been confirmed by the actual people there inside of their bank account that it's officially back. However, I believe at this time is, is that the governors are still trying to appeal the case again so as in they as in like if you watch the last couple of videos we mentioned how they filed an appeal they're now trying to do it again and so the story is that because of what's going on is, is that there's still a little bit of uncertainty i think at this time the really great news is is that it's still leaning in favor of the side of the people but that's why i say it's still important to kind of be on alert about what's been happening now within maryland the really cool news is is that in maryland they actually now officially filed another lawsuit which i believe this might even have now officially been the third lawsuit that's now being filed in Maryland but this new lawsuit that's happening in Maryland it's actually not about the fact that unemployment is ending early um, I believe that the third lawsuit that's going on in Maryland or the new lawsuit that just happened in Maryland right now it's really about the fact that um, there were a lot of people, I believe, in Maryland that had their unemployment account either backlogged or just some kind of like delay. Some of them may have had their accounts frozen. And it was largely for a whole bunch of different reasons. One of the very common reasons was because of things related to fraud. But it was kind of found out that a lot of them, they were kind of accused of having fraud but never actually had fraud so there were a lot of people that didn't get their entire full unemployment just because of the actual unemployment systems themselves so what's going on right now is that there's now another lawsuit that recently opened up on in, up in, in, in maryland in order to kind of just basically try to catch up with the system to finally give the people that are now owed unemployment not because of the fact unemployment was going to end early but just because of their own typical system related reasonings their unemployment back in other words what's happening is is that in Maryland right now they are basically suing because they feel the government committed fraud by accusing them of committing fraud and now they're trying to just pretty much correct that situation so that's really the situation that's going on there now I believe in the two other states that I know there's a lot of people waiting for information which is going to be in Ohio and Texas. Um, so the story right now is, is that both of those states, Ohio and Texas, the really, really great news is that according to a lot of people, according to word of mouth, and I believe according to local news, because it's very, very subtle there right now. I don't believe that they've made anything super public, but I believe is that this recent week that's go gone by, if you are watching this on or right around release date is, is that they've officially had their hearing. So that is the really, really great news. I believe in Ohio, they had their hearing on Wednesday, July 21st. And then I think in Texas, they had their hearing on uh, Thursday, July 22nd, or maybe it's the reverse. But the idea is that both of those states, they had their hearing this week. However, as of this time, they have not actually released any information to the public about what the final results are. So if you happen to be in Texas or Ohio, and I know because there's a lot of people that's in those states really waiting anxiously um, to maybe just try to stay strong for now because the great news is that we officially do have the hearing. However, what we're really just waiting for is, is the answer. We're really just trying to wait right now to see what their final decision, what their final verdict, or what they finally came up with as a result of their hearing. Now, whether when we can receive that information, we don't fully know yet at this time, but the prediction is, is, is that we can hopefully find out now about what actually physically happened to what they decided maybe in the next couple of days so i'd probably say maybe to be safe i'd say hopefully something by around the beginning of next week if you happen to be watching on release date but the great news and i think the overall idea is is that we're making progress and i think that's the most important thing of course we just have to see what the final actual or certainly the current decision currently is at this current time
I do know also in Oklahoma and Florida, there's a lot of people that are waiting there. The true answer actually with Oklahoma and Florida is, is that Oklahoma has actually been a little bit more silent. So we don't fully know the story with Oklahoma right now. That's really the true answer. If you happen to be from there and know anything, feel free to maybe share it down because they're probably going to be releasing it to local news first before they release it to nationwide or national news. So you guys will probably learn or know about it much, much faster. Uh, Florida just opened their lawsuit also right before Tennessee did. So we don't really have as much information about it. I don't even believe that they even have their hearings scheduled yet or anything like that. I believe they physically just opened the lawsuit. So we're really just waiting for information. But the great news is that at this current time, there are now officially seven states that have something that's happening with two states that have now made significant progress. And I believe actually it was even noted that one of the reasons why Tennessee suddenly now officially joined into the lawsuit um, was actually because of what happened with Maryland and with Indiana. I believe it was it ended up happening is, is that there were people in Tennessee that ended up becoming inspired. So thankfully, exactly like how we've been pretty much mentioning and so far, thankfully, right on track about how we can hopefully at least just get even one or two states to win their lawsuit. Maybe as we've kind of mentioned in a lot of the past videos already, um, huge thanks if you guys have believed throughout this entire thing that if we can just get one or two states to maybe be able to carry through, maybe that can potentially become some kind of inspiration for a lot of other states to see what's actually possible and try to follow through. And the great news is that it seems like Tennessee had that inspiration. And now if you happen to be in Tennessee, they now have officially joined in with the lawsuit as well, um, which I think is really, really great news. Maybe consider smashing the like button if you guys haven't done so already, because I think it is really, it is really, really great news to kind of know about and hopefully for more states to now become even more inspired to do something similar as well. But beyond this is, I really just wanted to end this by maybe just sharing the unemployment numbers really quick right here because some people have always been wondering about them. We talked a lot in the last episode, I believe it's literally just called Will Unemployment End or Will Unemployment Extend Past September 2021 about why a lot of these numbers, even though sometimes people just look at them and they're just like, oh, you know, is it really important? Why should we care? Um, it matters a lot because it impacts how the programs actually go from here. But I talked a lot about that also, of course, in the other video. But the recent week, I believe, is that we've officially received word that 419,000 people filed for unemployment. So we actually have now officially now ticked upwards again, actually. Um, originally, if you guys have been following the news, is, is that we saw the unemployment numbers dip, 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 all the way. I believe it, it ended up dipping to about 300,000 the week before for this recent week and now we are seeing it to tick back up again now back to 400. A lot of people believe that this might have been actually because of the Delta related situation which of course we did also talk about that in as mentioned is in yesterday's or the last video where we talked about whether unemployment will extend again, because this is actually going to be a huge thing that impacts it. But the idea is, is that we're starting to see it kind of reverse again, and we really don't know where it's gonna go from here. But I figured it's at least important to know because it's going to impact, potentially impact a lot of things going forward. But beyond this is, that's pretty much what I really just wanted to share in today's update. So if you guys found that insightful, maybe consider smashing the like button, um, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for similar videos like this. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts, or information about honestly just really anything at all. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well. And if you're watching this on release date, have a great weekend. Thank you guys so much again and hope to see you guys next time.